Well, as close to Pittsburgh as Mercer and Somerset counties, you might say the brood 10 cicadas are singing up a love song right now. <laughs> While the local area may be getting a bit more sleep, there are plenty of pests emerging and pestering. And we should warn you, what John Shumway found out from a bug specialist could be a little uncomfortable to hear. Yeah, to say the least. We're talking about things that sting, that crawl, that creep, and even sleep with us. We're starting to see an uptick in bed bug uh, calls as well. Yeah. So that to me means that more people are traveling um, and uh, taking bed bugs and passing them around. Entomologist Dr. Chad Gore from Early Pest Control says it is far from just bed bugs emerging. The stay at home pandemic has spawned this. So we've seen a lot of, of issues with American cockroaches, especially uh, closer to the city and in the city uh, as a result of inactivity uh, from people. And the queens of the flying stingers are out there looking for places to nest. The hornets tend to be pretty aggressive, especially bald faced hornets. Um, yellow jackets also, when disturbed, tend to be pretty aggressive. Also flying. I was actually outside yesterday evening. I was getting bit by, uh, by a few mosquitoes. And back with a vengeance. Certainly seeing a lot of ants um, and tick season never goes away. Yeah, and for the ants, he says, use bait traps, don't spray, because spraying only gets the one that you see, and that's only a fraction of the colony. Instead, if you use a bait trap, what happens is the ant walks through, gets the killing agent on their legs, and then goes back to the colony, hands it out to all of its friends, and it takes care of the whole colony, not just the ones you see. And Heather, he estimates when you see ants, you're only seeing about 10% of the ants that are actually in the colony. We had ants in the house a couple years ago, and it is, oh, it is hard to deal with. Yeah. Um, so what about the hitting the flying stingers, as you call them, with the spray? Well, if you're allergic, don't even do it. Don't go near them. But if not, watch them and see where they go, because you want to locate the nest. Yeah. And if it's an area where people walk by, the bees will actually see that as aggression, just walking by the entrance to their, their hive. So you'll want to deal with them and always spray in the coolest part of the day when they're least active and most of them are back in the next. And when you spray, don't hold back. Penetrate into that nest because you want to get them all, including the queen. And be safe if you're doing it. Yeah, absolutely. And if you have any intrepidation about it at all, call somebody who is a professional. Yeah. All right, John. Thanks.